What's up gamers? It's your host Cobra and today we're doing our August monthly update. So every month I plan on giving you an update video to take a look at the progress we've been making. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the last four to five weeks and I'll show you some of the highs and lows of the investments that we made and the progress and earnings from games that are turned on. Uh, first, we're gonna take a look at our play to earn income. Keep in mind, most games aren't turned on yet, so there's only a little bit there. Uh, then we'll take a look at the pre-launch investments we made and any type of flipping profits that are notable. Uh, we'll also take a look at some of the uh, things that were exciting in the last month, some of the things that were not so exciting over the last month, and then I'll give you a preview of what's coming for the rest of September. First up is our play to earn income. Uh, at the beginning of the month, we were actually playing three different games. Uh, at the end of the month, we were only playing two of them. Um, so first, Zed Run continues to be a uh, consistent profit generator. Uh, the numbers aren't huge uh, because my stable isn't the biggest uh, and my horses aren't terribly high end. Uh, but we're consistently making money. Uh, the 0.45 Ethereum that you see there is actually a little bit of September as well. Um, so we're averaging closer to 0.3, um, a little bit above 0.3 in Ethereum uh, for the month of August. Uh, that was quite honestly with poor results. Uh, so September should be a little bit better, but we'll see where the market goes. Uh, on the Axie side, we are breeding and growing our Axie farm. It is working, uh, but we are not at a point where we are really making profits just yet because all of that is getting reinvested um, into growing our farm. Crypto Blades is where there's some bad news. Uh, they essentially ran out of money, um, and so the rewards no longer make any sense. Uh, we didn't sell out of that game. Uh, they are doing a bunch of fundraising that's been going well uh, and have several updates planned. Uh, so I'm holding off to see where that goes. Hopefully it'll pick up and we'll start making money there again too. Now because most games are still in a pre-launch state, a lot of the investments we're making are uh, not playable yet. Uh, and so in order to get our money back out and free roll or make any profit, we need to flip. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, some of that action for August and beginning of September. Um, starting with Parallel. Uh, that dropped about a month ago now. Um, it's a little bit old news at this point, but it went nuclear. Um, I only got a few packs, but I was very lucky with what I did purchase. Um, and so we sold it off for almost a four Ethereum total profit, uh, which is something like 50X on what I spent. Totally insane. And to be perfectly honest, I did not time the market very well with those sales either. Um, that number could be more than double to be perfectly honest, uh, but we made a lot of money there. Uh, Chicken Derby, uh, we've done a whole video, I've got a link for you below uh, if you want some of the details, but we did a little bit of additional trading uh, after that and increased our profits to just over one Ethereum. Uh, Riot Racers, we also have another video linked for you there with a ton of details on that drop and some of the results, uh, but a quick update, uh, while the land plots that we purchased have absolutely appreciated very nicely. Um, they're not at a price point that I'm comfortable letting go yet. Uh, those things are gonna be very valuable, I think. So we're still holding on to those. Technically, that is a negative 0.6 profit for August. Uh, and then finally, an early September surprise, a uh, project called The Watcher. Uh, this is a game that is uh, still early in development. Uh, it is looking very good, uh, but quite honestly, they are rolling out details slowly, keeping a lot of things a mystery, uh, which keeps the community engaged, but makes it a little bit difficult to tell you about. Uh, so we'll learn more as we go. Um, I'm holding a few NFTs for that project as well. And uh, as we learn more about the game, we'll see if it makes sense for our videos on the free roll. So August was another record month. Uh, the NFT space continues to explode and the play to earn uh, vertical has a lot of attention uh, as more and more players start to find out about it. Uh, that said, there's a couple of projects that we didn't get to talk about that deserve a little recognition. 
Uh, the first one is Bunny Nights. Uh, this is on the Hen Network, um, and it's a project I'm really, really excited about because it is developing into a fantasy role-playing game, um, which, as I've said many times, is one of my favorite genres. Uh, I've also been very, very impressed with the dev team, uh, and so I expect big things as we learn more about that project. Uh, we're going to be talking about that for sure on the free roll. Uh, the next one is actually a September drop uh, that happened last week uh, called Video Game Dev Squad. This is an interesting project because it's both a mint pass um, and utility NFT, but one of the main selling points is that uh, you get access to working with the game developers themselves and you get to help design the game with them. Uh, they described it as them putting up the foundation and you decorating the house. Um, that's a really interesting approach that I haven't seen. Um, so quite frankly, even though I'm not super interested in uh, the game that's being developed just yet, um, auto chess is not a genre that uh, I've partaken in before. Um, this is a really neat approach and we're going to hold on to at least one of these so that we can participate uh, as time is available. Uh, and then finally, Star Atlas finally started selling ships. Um, and so we started buying Star Atlas NFTs. Uh, they are on the Solana network and they're still very early in development. Those ships are going to be on sale uh, for the next couple of months. Um, and they're going to be releasing a whole bunch. So uh, there's not a lot of urgency to get in and start buying today, uh, but check it out. The Solana network itself has really impressed me though. Um, the interface is nice, the tools and the wallets are well put together. Um, and quite frankly, uh, the fees are very low. Um, compared to Ethereum, it is uh, basically nothing. And this seems like a really good choice for gaming projects. Uh, the fact that Star Atlas chose them uh, despite being uh, such a young blockchain says a lot. That is a big team that is making large investments and they wouldn't go with a blockchain that they don't believe in. So check out Solana and some of the projects on there as well. If you're gonna make a, a wallet, I suggest Phantom, uh, but we're gonna be looking at gaming projects on the Solana network a lot closer now. And then finally, because we haven't done this very regularly, I want to call it out. Uh, in August, we cashed out $1,500 USD, put it in the bank, uh, so that money could be spent on tangible things in the regular world as well. And September may be a third of the way over already, but there's quite a few things exciting still to come. Uh, so let's take a quick look. First, the Riot Racers next drop is actually uh, next week on the 15th. Uh, they are going to have more cars available, more land plots available. Uh, check out my last video, which I've linked below, if you want to see what that drop is going to be like. Uh, some of the land plots are slightly different this time around, but otherwise, everything in that video is still appropriate. Uh, make sure you join that Discord too if you're interested. Uh, and then Guild of Guardians is doing a drop this month as well. I'm super pumped for this one because they're selling epic, care, uh, epic level heroes. Uh, they are way more affordable at about $45 in Ethereum uh, than the legendaries were, uh, which means we can buy a lot of them. Um, and frankly, we need to buy a lot of them because they are some of the coolest looking characters that they've put out so far, and I want a lot of them. So uh, since there's RNG involved, we're going to buy as many as we can. Uh, we'll get rid of some of the extras and duplicates likely afterwards, but uh, there's a whole bunch of characters I want to get my hands on. That drop is not going to be announced um, ahead of time. This is an effort to keep bots and flippers away. Um, they did say they're gonna be leaving clues in Discord and on social media, so make sure you're following along. Um, follow us on Twitter as well. I will certainly tweet out for everybody uh, when I hear anything um, or if I uh, have any guesses as to when it's coming, but uh, when it goes live, we'll tweet that out for sure. And then I mentioned it above, uh, but it bears repeating because this is a huge project. Star Atlas is selling their ships right now, um, and they're going to be releasing a whole bunch slowly over the rest of the year. Check them out uh, because there's a lot of potential with that project. Do keep in mind, this one is a big-time project, and it's going to take more time than some of the others, 
So we're not going to be playing uh, the full game anytime soon. Uh, they are going to start introducing actual utility that we can use this year though. Um, and that'll be a browser based, much more basic kind of mini game within the Star Atlas universe. So to wrap things up, in August, we earned money playing Zed Run. Uh, we grew out our Axie farm so that we can start earning money this month. Uh, we stopped playing Crypto Blades because it's no longer profitable. Uh, we're holding there. We made investments in games like Chicken Derby and Riot Racers. Uh, there's additional drops coming for Guild of Guardians and Riot Racers uh, in the next couple of weeks as well. Make sure you follow us on Twitter uh, for the latest news about different drops and projects in the play to earn space. Uh, and then if this video was helpful, give us a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for the next videos because gamers, we're free rolling.